spend an entire laning phase running for your life. Because that's fun. For a single skill shot to be so punishing, I think a great example of a champion to look for is Urkel. My E is not only telegraphed, but short range, with lots of limitations. You compare Alawi's um, Test of Spirit and that ability as, what, double the range? She doesn't need to risk herself when she uses it. She uses it, and afterwards, she's perfectly safe. Got my fingers ready to put a point in W. Oh crap. Um, probably dead. Wow. That is just not cool. They must have seen us walk into that brush. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. We just got cheesed. Well, what happened here is a literal one in a hundred cheese. a skill shot that roots her for cast time. But again, let's compare it to Urgot's Heat. It has double the range. Double the range. It has double the range. Oh, and when she uses it, she doesn't go in. So if she misses it, no big deal. She's safe. She's fine. And then she can use it again a few seconds later. Again, Urgot's E is a great example of how you're supposed to do it. If I miss Urgot E, I'm usually just dead. Like, that's, that's just, I, I'm dead or I lose most of my life. That is a high-risk, high-reward ability right there. That is the kind of ability that deserves to be strong. And yet, it isn't anywhere near as strong as Alawi's Testament of Spirit. Nor nearly as annoying. We're talking night and day difference in power. Also, it's interesting that the um, TF locked in a red card instead of a gold. Hmm. Yeah, there's a pink ward there and I can't clear it. Now we're just going to let this push back. Yes, Camille is an awful champion. She's a champion that requires very little skill to execute. Which is the reason why she has such a high play rate. She's just very easy to play. She's a champion that also doesn't really need to land skill shots. Like, what she just landed right there is not something she actually needs to land. She just needs it to act as a gap closer so that she can do that massive true damage of hers. Which is also unavoidable once she gets within range. No skill shot required at that point. That's actually got all of it. I've got my E ready and I see the Diego. And he's cleared out my ward. Not that it matters. Got another one in 10 seconds. Good. Kane's getting some work done. That's what I like to see. The Viego wasted time coming top lane when I'd set up the lane so that a gank would basically be impossible. Also, my ghost is back, so that early death, not the biggest deal. Because she only got an assist, and it was an assist shared amongst four champions. So, uh, excuse me, three champions. So, the amount of gold she got off of that was basically negligible. The only value it really gave her was that she hit six off the first wave, but because I shoved so hard, I still managed to hit level two before. Cries are calling home. Oops. I don't know why Viego's here. Excuse me. Um, the cane's here. I assume it's because Viego's here. God, that is a lot of damage. Oops. 
Oh, I love how all the range minions decided to focus the cannon at the same time, despite having literally not attacked the cannon in the last three seconds. Cool. No! Oh, fuck. I might be dead. Okay, he's got her. Pretty sure he's got her. Nicely done. Great gank. And the wave's pushing so I can back. Awesome! Great gank from him. Great gank. And that's enough for me to get one of these. Are we having another one of those Better Jungler Wins games? Let's find out. Uh, actually, Allowee's E is really hard to land, but a good Allowee will land it most of the time. And that's some, one of those things, like saying, oh, this thing is really hard to do. That doesn't balance anything. Lee Sin is really hard to play. That doesn't make him balanced. Damn, missed the cannon. It just means that most players can't do what a good Lee Sin is supposed to do. That's all it means. It doesn't mean he's balanced. I'm just gonna hang out over here. I have no reason to be anywhere near these minions. It's easy to dodge anything if you're gold enough. Not true. Some champions make it easier. Yeah, it's easy enough to dodge everything if you're a good Yasuo player. You gotta dash at your disposal literally constantly. Lot of damage here. I think it's worth it though to freeze. This is a very short lived freeze, but whatever. So speaking of easy to land skill shots, that ability of hers is so easy to land on. Oh, I got that. Too. Thought that was lost. Why is the cannon targeting me? Alright, well, I am 7. The cane is kicking ass. Yeah, this might just be a jungle difference game right here. Kane is very near transformation. Look at that. Shadow Assassin at 4 minutes. That's ridiculous. Wait, did I really start cult? Whoops. That's actually... Oh, I'm dead. I'm just dead. Their jungle was here. Of course he would be. Helping out the poor Camille player. You know, that champion with an over 10% pick rate and over 50% win rate? That poor champion. And that was also incredibly stupid on his part because um, I was getting pushed in the entire time. Yanking for somebody that is constantly um, pushing in is, is dumb unless you're planning on diving and you can't really dive or a guy. Also, that ward positioning is terrible. Should have put it directly in the corner, but you know what? If somebody's going to clear it out, they're going to clear it out. But yeah, what, what I what I mean is, when um, the Viego came to gank me here, she had been pushing me into the turret for at least two minutes. Which basically means that there's almost no vulnerability. The only way I die is if I do what I did there, which is try to fight back. If I had literally just sat back like I had been for the last two minutes, that gank would have done nothing. It would have done precisely nothing. It would have been a huge waste of time. Unfortunately for me, he did it, and so it wasn't just a huge waste of time. Nice 
because now she doesn't want to walk up because she knows the cane's nearby. That's great. She's going to miss farm because of this. With the wave state, I am very happy. Who's the TF running off, dude? Oh, oh shit. Come on, my way. He's fine. Oh, and there it is. We'll, we'll get more. We will get more. Oh, yeah! My ult connected. Oh, we're gonna get more. Oh, we are gonna get more. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Mine! Yeah! That's how it works, and she missed a ton of farm and experience. I'm gonna get almost all of this. I'm gonna miss the cannon, but I still got the experience for that cannon. That was fantastic! And I'm nine now, and I'm pretty sure her teleport's still down, so... It's shoving season, and now we're fed. And now we're fed. I am really confused why the TF teleported into that. Because in the end, the cane was already fed at that point. The TF wasn't. He was two on one, the cane is more fed with more farm. That just seems like a... It seems like you're asking for trouble at that point. Um, and the Camille running in is hilarious because I was following, which meant it would be a 2v2, and who do you think's gonna win in the 2v2? The slightly fed Twisted Fate, the moderately okay Camille, or the quite fed cane, and Urgot who's about to hit nine. Well, frankly, I actually would have put it on them because I wasn't nine yet. I can't teleport. An ally has been slain. I got no TP. An I'm not gonna move slain. now. Well, that was a mistake. Damn, that was a good teleport from the Camille. There's nothing I could do to follow it. Let's just make sure she doesn't go. I gotta be careful. They now have the numbers advantage around the top, so I don't know how, how healthy or not healthy they were. Never mind. Oh, Ash just got two. Right, let's fuck her up. Damn. I needed to do my E earlier. If I did, I actually would have caught her as she left. Ah, uh, it's terrible. But I got a lot of damage in, so I'll take it. That teleport was fantastic, but it is not gonna really cost her, because she's... At full health. I... And of course, she's going for Divine Sunder. That item that shouldn't exist. Ever. Okay, absorb that damage. Nice, my shield's actually strong enough to absorb a turret shot. Oh my god, did I get three? I got three kills in that play. I got all of the kills. Awesome. I just want the plate. I'm gonna get it. Let's go grab that healing plant I see. I could use some mana. I don't need health, but I do need mana. I wonder where the Camille ran off to. Extra mana, extra health. I do have... No, I don't have teleport. They're screwed. I was gonna say I could TP down there, but I can't. I can't. Our bot lane was not paying attention to the... Um, the fact that the TF could teleport in our... Okay, this is becoming a bit problematic. Though our Ash is doing really well. Of course, she's got Divine Sunder now. I need a Bramble Vest ASAP. I think I'm just going to go back and buy it now. I need Anti-Heal. God, that shield was able to absorb. What was that? That was... The shield absorbed two shotguns. Multiple W shots. Never mind. I will back. I'll get Bramble and Tabby if I can afford them both. It looks like I can. Bramble. There. That's good. The Bramble will uh, reduce the Divine Sunder power. 
not much, 40%, but it's still something. And both of these will reduce her overall damage when she doesn't hit me with her second Q. Because when she hits me with her second Q, there is there are no items I can use to make it. Because that's fair. Also, cheers to you all. I am drinking hot sake. I'm drinking lukewarm sake right now. Yeah, I got my teleport ready. Nice thing. Oh, look who's here, Camille. Getting a little worried about our bot lane there, dying a bit too much. And Aphelios is a much easier champion to carry with than Ash. Good. We're getting multiple turrets. That's not good. That nonsense right there. That nonsense right there, the uh, the double CC. This item doesn't belong in League of Legends. Neither does this one, neither does this It's the exact same looking item. Neither of the... Heck, I took a lot of damage there. Yeah, Everfrost is an incredibly fucked up item because basically what it says is for certain champions, you get to double the length of your CC. I mean, it does, like if this item did no damage, if, the, if that deal 148 was deal nothing, just that active of roots targets for one and a half seconds because it is guaranteed on certain champions, that alone already would be broken. The fact that it also does damage is insane. Actually, thankfully, she's still very dead. Because that Kane's a broken champion. Because, you know, the ability to not take any damage for multiple seconds is never a fair thing. His ultimate does that and a shitload of damage. There's so many broken champs in the league. So very many. I'm sad I didn't get that kill, but that's fine. I do have teleport. I'd love to TP in if there were. There was only a ward for me to TP to! If only there was a single goddamn ward in position. I'm not sure if the TP would have worked out, but it's better than literally doing nothing, which is what I was forced to do. But yeah, I'm really worried. Our bot lane is no longer doing well. Five and nine. Excuse me, six and nine. Got to include her kills if I'm going to include her deaths. Lots of wards in position to spot her. But yeah, this this is an issue. My team has fallen behind. Right now, it's basically the Kane and me. The Ash is potentially also on that list. Forcing her. Oh, yeah, I got it back. I, I agree. I agree. I've got plenty of vision, but my first ward's about to die. 
it's not going to last very long and yeah they are hugging the, the uh, top side here Well, I'm now at the strongest point I can be in the game. Motherfucker. God, I thought the king was here. It was our bot lane. Oh, no. Kane needs to run. He's dead. I thought it was the cane that was in the area, which is the reason why I was still playing aggro. Because I saw it allies nearby, I thought it was cane. I didn't realize it was our Ash Nami. If I knew it was them, I would not have gone aggro. I would have fallen back. Ah, uh, shit. I don't... This, this is the problem with Ash. He's such a vulnerable champion. Yeah, that's a really dangerous thing to, for them to do to try and do it near uh, Velkaz. But yeah, right now we got we got two um, sore thumbs on our team. It's our mid lane and our bot lane. All of these are low mobility champions. The entire enemy team is basically um, point and click, high mobility, high damage champions. I'm gonna leave our cane to it. I will, however, clear out some. Of But yeah, I'm I'm worried. I don't I don't know if we can win this game. Cause Kane is gonna have a real hard time carrying this. Red different it would be a big difference if it was red cane, but his blue cane, he could, he basically needs to get he needs to assassinate people in order to be a reliable champion. I think you think I need Cleaver against who? Who on their team is tanky? Mm -hmm. Oh! Ho -ho -ho. <laughs> nice Ash all. We take those. I love how the enemy team literally just took a big loss here. My team's plowing down the mid and they still come to kill me. Uh, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Our Ash is useless. I... I don't know what else to say, man. The Ash cannot do anything against the enemy team. They will kill her 100% of the time if she gets within range. And she can't function if she doesn't get within their range. And I was right, it's going to be better jungler wins. I was just wrong about which one it was going to be. I mean, Viego is a champion that should be deleted immediately. This, this champion cannot work with his pass. That passive is broken. Like, there's... That is not an ability that can function currently. Where are the fucking wards I'm coming? Oh, that's not going to work for, is it? get her too. Excellent! Dra we got a two-for-one special! Thank you, Yumi, for attaching yourself to the wrong person. We absolutely can and should take Baron. Lots of wards. Over here. This is ours. They can't contest this. Their Viego can look to potentially steal it, but they can't contest it. Yeah, I'm not even going to 
try. Good. I don't quite have enough money for Thorn Mail, I think. I think I'm off by... No, I do have enough. If I'm off by 50 gold, then I have enough. I am not off by 50 gold. Okay, now I'm off by 50 gold. Uh-oh. Uh... Wow. Um... He really needed to not ult there. Wait, he actually got that kill? What? How, how did he... How did he fucking get that kill? Also, I really needed to upgrade that Ruby Crystal. That's dumb. Yeah, we need to group up, because the enemy team is looking for picks. They're doing nothing interesting from a team perspective. They're just looking for picks. Top lane. I don't have teleport. I'm just going to push real quick and hope the enemy team doesn't try and swamp me again. Yeah, Viego's passive is one of those massive abominations Riot did that they really never should. I don't think I can push any further. Oh. I was right. They were coming to swamp me again. Why are they trying to help the 2 5 Camille so much? I don't get it. She's playing the Busted Ed Champion. I do get that. <laughs> Jesus. And that's the other fucked up part, is the, uh, the Viego now has a permanent, uh, Yumi buff. Because, <laughs> uh, she is, uh, that is exactly what she does. Oh boy, my team's about to get murdered. These champions cannot be past River on their own. I, I can't push. Enough of the enemy team is there. This turret's mine. Mm. I'm rotating over, but I don't know if this is a good idea. Nice! Huge! Let's take an inhib. Yep, inhib then dragon. Inhib then dragon. Haha, I just ruined your back. Holy shit. I have money! Time to spend! Yeah, um... Who do I put this? Viego? Viego or the field? I don't like the positioning of my allies. I don't like the positioning of my allies. Put it on the Diego. Nah, they're just gonna get it. Or not. Sorry, you you screwed. Nice. Uh, that's game.
I think that's still game, though. They're all dead. Yep, that's game. That is game. Oh. That fed as fuck Viego I thought had us. Thank God their team had the same exact problem my team had. Extremely low mobility, highly squishy champions. Both teams actually had the exact same problem. Aphelios is low mobility, very squishy. He's easier to play than Ash because he's got longer range and more utility in his kit, I'd say. Um, then Twisted Fate, same thing. Very low mobility champion. His ultimate is basically everything he's got. Um, and those two are their back line. Their Viego is really fed, and with the Yumi, very strong. But when he's in there alone, which he's going to be with a backline like this that can't walk up, I mean, even in his busted fucking shape, he still is very vulnerable. And oh my god, I didn't realize how fat it was. Because looking at the Viego, never mind, he also had four complete items. I had four complete items, he did too. And his are stronger than mine. Also... I guess that GA must have got... Oh, never mind. He must have just bought that GA. I was going to say, I don't think his GA was broken last fight, which means he must have broken it before then, but I guess he just didn't have GA. He must have bought it while he was dead. And the game ended before he revived. Hmm. Well, it was indeed better jungler wins. I'll be shocked. It's crazy, too, because our Arcane was 6-2 and two when their Viego had 12. I think the Viego's 12 and 3 at that point. And then the Kane ends the game 12 and 3. A better score than the uh, Viego. That's, uh, but, but again, it is frustrating looking at both teams, how in both teams' cases, the junglers were not just the strongest, but the most decisive factors. At least in our case, I was very close to the jungle and gold. Our Ash was too. I mean, I was complaining how useless the Ash was and was going to be, but she ended up being quite useful towards the end. She was 7-7, seven and seven, which showed she got a kill for every death, which is fine. But with the support that was with her in a 1-7, and seven, it, it sort of lopsided the balance in the bot lane. Our Ash did indeed do better. She was up 2.5k gold by the end. Wow, that's surprising. <laughs> that's a lot of gold. I'll take it, though.